Well, g'day. Welcome to DJ Tutor TV. I'm John Beck, and today I'm going to show you how to record your own mixes in Tractor Scratch Pro using an external mixer. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to your preferences over here, and you're going to find in your preferences recording click on recording and you're going to get that all right so your source internal external obviously we're doing external mixer external input it gives you your four channels a b c d uh, with track to scratch pro you have four decks um, so we have selected channel d as our external input. Directory is where it's going to go, you can change that. The uh, default is tractor recordings, so it's pretty easy to find, so you might as well just leave it as the default. You can change it to whatever you want. Prefix, you can call it whatever you want. And file, split size, well I don't want it to split, so I'll have it set on the highest possible. All right, so that's in the recordings. So now you've set that up. Okay, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go to your audio eight, to the front. Obviously I've got the CD players plugged into the back, channel one, or A, channel B. That's channel C. We've chosen channel D, or well, channel C and D. And these are your outs. Now we are going into this as we're recording, so we're going into the sound card. So your ins are up the front. Okay, see, in seven and eight. So seven and eight is D. So what you want is an RCA cable, and in it goes into the sound card. Now the other end goes into the mixer. Let's have a look at that. Now, any good mixer will have a record out in the back of it. Um, in the Pioneer DJM600, it's down the bottom there, it's kind of hard to get to. But I'm actually not going to use the record out. I'm actually going to use the booth. Okay, the booth monitor. And I'll tell you why I use the booth monitor once we go back to the screen. So the other end of the RCA goes into the booth. Okay, so that's in. So master is obviously master out, going to the amp. The booth monitor is now going into channel seven and eight of the audio eight. So everything is at the ready. People are always asking what track's playing in the background. This is what's playing in the background at the moment. Now, if you go back over here, I'm just got to change hands. Uh, over here, you've got your FX mode. Oh, where is it? Up here. FX mode and a little tape. So click on the tape and you've got your recording panel. Okay, at the moment it's not recording. So what have we got here? This is for broadcasting. We're not broadcasting. This is for recording. You hit that, it'll start recording. That's obviously your gain. And your cut feature, we're not gonna use that today either. So, you're almost ready to record. Now, your levels. Um, now this is why I've hooked into the booth monitor, because I can adjust the level using this here. Now, you know, I'm a hands-on DJ, I like to be hands-on. So this is the control that I'm going to use to adjust this. Okay, there you go. It's all the way down. And then I can adjust it by using the booth monitor. You want it as high as you can get it without going into the red. And it will go into the red there. Now you don't want that, so take it back until it's this 
far as you can go without getting it into the red. Now I'd use that, if you don't want to do that, if you've plugged it into record out of your mixer, this is your line level here. You can adjust it with your mouse. Alright, see that? So you can adjust it with your mouse, but like I say, I'm uh, hands on. I don't really want to be using the mouse to control this. So I'll leave that set wherever, and because I've got it hooked into the booth, I can control the level from here. It's much easier to grab a hold of this. If all of a sudden it starts to peak, it's much easier to grab that and turn it back rather than to come up here, grab the mouse, point it, and then adjust it. So use the booth out if you've got it. Okay, so that's it. You're basically ready to record. And as you can see, that's probably a bit low, so I wanna, I really wanna take that up a bit. Now, obviously to record, all you've gotta do is click this button, and it starts recording. Tells you how long you've been recording for and how much space it's taking up. It's as simple as that. To stop recording, obviously you hit that again and it stops recording. Too easy, isn't it? Now, it records... You're going to have to look at my face. It records in um, in wave so it's going to take up a lot of room if you're doing an hour to two hour mix it's going to take up a lot of room because it's recording in wave form um, so there are many programs out on the market where you can convert that down to mp3 so it takes up a lot less space um, so you can you know put it on a cd or whatever um, so that's recording in uh, Tractor. Uh, to find them, to find your recordings, they'll just be in here. There you go. Audio recording. And it pops up here what we've just recorded. It's as simple as that. Now if you've got any more questions on how to record in Tractor Pro, you shouldn't. It's pretty straightforward. But just in case uh, you're having some sort of problems, let me know, I'll see what I can do to help you. Until next time, practice and enjoy.